everybody, welcome back to another grocery haul. And this week I went to Meyer. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. I, sp I spent a total of $105 and one penny. So let me show you what all I got at Meyer. I used to shop at Meyer exclusively. Um, and then I just quit. Um, this was goodness before we even moved. I'm talking 20 something years ago. I shopped at Meyer exclusively. And then when we moved down here, I shopped at Meyer, and then I just kind of quit. And, but I really love Meyer. Meyer has, you know, if they, if you want one of something, Meyer is going to have 10 selections for you of the same item. They have a lot of variety. And, um, so I really like Meyer. I just don't go there anymore. But today I did because they had some really good deals I wanted to take advantage of. So let me show you what all I got today. Let's start down here. There's strawberries that look great. We're 99 cents a pound. So I got two of those. I thought this was really fun. This was, I think, $1.49 for a one pound pack of mandarins. And that's about the size that I like to buy of mandarins. It takes us a long time to go through a three or four pound bag. So this little one pound bag was a fun find. They had a lot of things today that were a dollar if you bought seven. Anything there after the seven, a dollar each. So these were a dollar a piece and I loved how tiny these are. I'm not a fan of baby cut carrots, but I'm wanting to do a recipe with these. So I picked those up for a dollar a bag. These Ritz crackers were 250. I got the roasted vegetable this time. And then the wheat thins, I think those maybe were 250, maybe a little less. So I got that. Three bags of chips, these were all two bucks a bag. So I got the Zesty Ranch and the nacho cheese and the tortilla chips and then just some plain little bite-sized tortilla chips. James is really enjoying this Lavazza um, espresso. It comes in the beans. And so I picked a bag up for him, some hot dog buns and two packages of the Ballpark Franks. These were two for five. Um, I don't have any of this. I like to keep this in my um, little cabinet with all my uh, envelope mixes. So I went ahead and picked that up when I saw that. Um, I am making this um, mild cheddar cheese will go tomorrow night. I am making a meal that I'm going to serve curly fries with for family night. So I got some of this cheese to dip our curly fries in. These were in the dollar sale. So I got three of the extra creamy whipped toppings. I picked up these um, pita pockets, two packages of these. They only had wheat and that's okay. Um, that's also for tomorrow night's meal. And so come back and watch my what's for dinner. This is a meal I used to make a lot when the boys were at home. I just haven't made it in a long time. I picked up some Eckridge garlic deli bologna, the best. Let's see here. I love Meyer brand cheese. They have great cheese and often run it on sale for $1.99 or $2 a bag. I think they were two a bag this week. So I got two of the thick cut mozzarella. I got two of the thick cut Colby Jack and I needed provolone to also go with tomorrow night's meal. These were also a dollar a piece, these little seafood snackers in the three ounce package. I have a recipe that I'm gonna be making coming up soon. So I just picked up two of those. The zero sugar coconut cream, I haven't had that in a good while. And so I picked that up. I'm not out of creamer yet, but I just went ahead and got it since they had the zero sugar. You don't always find that one in the coconut cream. These were also a dollar a piece. Uh, I don't buy a lot of yogurt. We kind of take yogurt um, eating by spells. And so when we're in the mood and, uh, but when we do, I love this toasted marshmallow. It's one of my favorites. So I got three of those and a banana pudding. And then James loves the Oikos and the various berries. So I got that plus a lemon for him. I like to keep this in the pantry for us or when the little boys are here, sometimes in the evening time before bed, they will like a little package of oatmeal and it's just convenient to have these little instants. These were a dollar each as well. All the rice pilaf or the rice aroni brand actually. So I got the rice pilaf and the cilantro lime. I needed this for a pasta salad I'm making for tomorrow night. So it's these little bitty tiny pearls. 
they're just perfect size for pasta salad. Um, I needed a can, a small can of biscuits. I have one, but I'm going to make a chicken and a biscuit um, to take to church on Sunday for a fellowship meal. So I wanted to do um, two packages of the biscuits for that. If you've watched any of my dinner videos, you'll know kind of what I'm talking about with that. Uh, this was a great find. I needed a pot roast or some sort of beef roast today. So this one is a certified Angus beef eye of round roast boneless. It was $21.67 and it was 50% off, so $10. And I looked at roasts at Aldi and they really didn't have what I wanted. Nothing there under $17 or $18. So I was so glad to find this. This will go in the crock pot in the morning. And then my two bags of Arby's curly fries. These were $4.99 a bag but it was buy one bag, get one bag for a dollar. So I basically paid $6 for the two bags, which is not a bad deal at all, you know, considering. <laughs> um, all right, that is everything from Meyer. I may end up shopping at Meyer a little bit more. Um, I don't know, I enjoyed being in there today. I didn't have a lot of time um, to kind of just peruse. Like I said, Meyer has a lot a variety of everything they carry and sometimes it's nice just to go to a different store buy some different things just to kind of keep things fresh so you don't get burnt out on your cooking and snacking and and so forth all right y'all give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it you can leave me a comment if you have Meyer in your area and um i if you haven't subscribed you can do that i'd love that and um i'll see you next time Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Bye, everybody.